what we got here? We got here a very, very special package. Look that address. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Did you feel the weight? Yeah. It's pretty heavy. Okay. Okay. The fucking strap boys. Bruh. Oh. Wait, I want to feel it. So this is the Chrome Hearts Celtic roller belt. Pretty fire. Holy shit. The weight is pretty heavy. This is like crazy. Holy moly, look at the details. Here's the dust bag. Comes with it. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that. Can't even see it. But... <laughs> yeah, a little bit puffy on the back. Like, we want to know like, what, which part of the jacket makes the. Uh, I'll check after puffy. you take it out. Okay. I'll check. Uh, and uh, is this one large size? Or this is like it, XL. This is XL. It's XL. But it's very I'll, old, so I'm not, I'm not sure like which size. I'll, I'll measure and see okay. because it looks like, you know, there are like few, like you can, we can widen the back here and create like more like. Yeah. Like, so it also. XL. This jacket's from the 80s, so I don't know. Might have shrunk a little bit. Not sure. Uh, also, you, you see this one here? Yeah. Because what happened is you made like a smaller rib. Mm -hmm. You stretch the rib to match this and the rib after it is bringing it. The good thing is the rib you're using is much more stable than that. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to bring this without a problem. Oh, okay. Because, oh, yeah, okay. because sometimes clients wants to do that, but let's say the fabric is way too heavy to the rib. Yeah. And then the rib doesn't get enough power That's true. <laughs> That's true. You know, to yeah. bring it in. But you know, the good thing is this rib you choose here, and I know this rib, this rib has uh, it's good? Yeah, yeah. It has like a good amount of spandex. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. heavy. So a little bit stretchable? Yeah, yeah. It will be, will be great. It's good. And, and yeah, your fabric is not that heavy. Let's yeah. See. Yeah, your fabric is a kind of... This one feels like thinner, but it's a kind of like more like dry. Mm -hmm. You know, this one is somewhere like in... Like it's touch heavier than this. So how this heavy, okay. how heavy this, do you think our jacket will be? Uh, more like this. Well, like this, this is perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. yeah, more like this. So yeah. not not too like flimsy. Not no, 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 no. This this fabric, you know, is like it's like a, I I name this type of fabric like a dry fabric. You know, like they're like like very tight. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and see this one is like softer. Soft. You know, like yeah. that's why this drapes slightly more here than that than that one there. Mm -hmm. You know, what I can do to get you somewhere here. Let me check something to see. Sometimes back in time, but no, this one is the same exact front and back are the same length. Like, let's see this one because some I've seen you know vintage jackets before. Like sometimes what they do, they increase the length of the back mm -hmm. like that. But when you put it on the body, since the rip is tight, the rip gets pushed up, yeah, and create like a little like balloon here, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like a little blousiness. That's why I check to see mm -hmm. if that's the case here. Yeah. Most of the other jackets, if Without having that, usually the back is slightly shorter. Mm -hmm. And you see, that's exactly the case here. You see, it's like a little, oh, okay. mm. a little shorter. Yeah. And, and that one here, as you see, they're equal. It's you know? yeah. No, it's, it, it, see now, measuring here, and we have what, like, like 12 and a half, and then we're measuring down, and we have, Almost the same, mm -hmm. you know, like pretty much like two and a half. It's always good to measure just above the rib, but yeah, it's like two and a half. That means it's straight, mm -hmm. but the back is tapered. What I'm gonna do, instead of tapering the back, I'll stay it up, straight and this up. immediately will give here more room for gathering. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. Just strain it. Yeah. yeah now it's let's see. Is is the leathers uh, those leathers? They'll be like this distance pretty much. Yeah, right? it'll be like. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this. Yeah. yeah. No. Go finger back. 
Do you guys give the letters? Or? No, I, I don't, I'm not uh, sure. I don't, oh, think Alicia, uh, I don't know, Alicia or the, who is helping you? Alicia? Uh, justice. justice. Oh, Justice. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I think he's still talking about pricing with the... the <laughs> Hey guys, how are you? Wherever you are in the world. I just wanted to give a update on my recent pickups, things I've accumulated the last four to five months. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I've been rocking, things I've been messing with, different outfits I like to wear on a daily basis. But yeah, let's get right into it. First pickup is this St. Michael's St. Youth Tea, which is a remake of the Dirty Bunny Sonic Youth Tea. Uh, I think those original teas are going for like two to three K now. Um, dude, if you're you're paying that much for a tea, you're smoking. Whatever it is you're smoking, I want some of that. Cause no way in hell I'm paying that much for a t-shirt. But I thought this was a good remake of it. The colors are really nice. Really good wash, single stitch on the sleeves, as well as the hem. Uh, on the back, it says Ascension. Nice colors. Really like this tee. Um, if I don't feel like dressing up, throw this tee on with some pants. Always a good look. But yeah, that's the first pickup. The second pickup we have is this 50s chore jacket uh the cool thing about this one is that it is salvage it's the first one i've ever seen and color most of the color is still there um still need to get some wears into it see what kind of colors i can get and the fading but this is just a really simple piece it's super baggy. Also like the pocket placements. Usually with French chore jackets, you see it up more front, but this one is off to the side a little bit. And you can kind of see like the original color of what it used to be, but it is getting a lot of wear, which is great because, you know, who knows what it's gonna look like in a couple years, um, and a couple washes later. So yeah. So third pickup we have is this Colorado Buffs Russell XL painted hoodie. I mean, this is like a beater hoodie for me. I like the paint splatters on it. Fits me super well, uh, nice wash black. And I feel like everyone should have a Russell hoodie, uh, essential. Um, I didn't pay that much for it, so great, great pickup. Uh, I talked about this in my last video. This is the Repaired Rags Peace Flyer work jacket with the reinforced elbows. You can see on this side the peace sign and the X cross on the other arm. Dead stock tiger lining, which is one of my favorite parts about the jacket and oversized book pockets. It is made of 100% Vienna herringbone and it was put through a post-processed enzyme wash. And yeah, it's just super, super versatile jacket. Um, I throw this over denim, uh, fatigue pants, and it looks really well. Um, yeah, just a very versatile jacket. Our Fitz did a really good job for his first piece. I believe he sold out most of the jackets. I know the green one sold out, but I mean, if you could get your hands on like any of the colorways, definitely recommend it. Outstanding job. I usually style this with cuff sleeves so you can show off the lining a little bit, like you're wearing a layering piece. And yeah. So. The last jacket we have is this 05 History of My World Ralph Simmons biker jacket with the 3D cargo pocket on the sleeves. 
super nice piece. Uh, my friend Matt, shout out to him, slid me this for a pretty good price. If you haven't already, check out his store, Escape Pod. Has a lot of curated vintage, uh, good faders, basics, and also throws in a couple archive pieces here and there. But super nice lightweight jacket. A lot slimmer than what I usually wear. Um, still wear it a lot. Um, I usually wear this with like slimmer pants and boots. Um, there's actually a lot of ways you can wear this, but can't wait to beat this one up too. Um, yeah, really, really nice biker jacket. This is some 99 helmet painters in this charcoal gray color. I know this one's a little bit of a rare iteration of it. Um, I did have some 98s and the only complaint I have about like older helmet denim is that the rise is kind of weird. Um, it's between like a mid and high rise. Uh, but if it had a higher rise, only like my favorite denim, if it had a higher rise. Um, but yeah, I really like the paint splatter patterns on these, super minimal. Um, I don't know if you can see the tag anymore, but it's it's been worn a lot. But super soft. I really enjoy this pair. Uh, if I want to wear something a little bit slimmer in the bottoms with some boots, always my go-to. Um, yeah, just a really solid pair of jeans next pair of pants we have are some 50s i think this is a pattern two or three because it does have the gas flap um and also the pocket the cargo pocket is a couple inches down from where the original ones were right here at the hip. See this one, it's a couple inches down. Uh, you can see the 13 stars right there. Super nice army green and has a bunch and bunch of like mending done to it. Ankles, super nice. And on the right knee. Much baggier silhouette. Wear this a lot just because they're super comfortable, easy to style. Um, I wear, I can wear it with either sneakers or boots. Solid pant. Really like the colors. Definitely gonna need to get the knee blowout repaired, but other than that, solid, solid pants. Don't overpay for them. I know a lot of people have been taxing for these, but I paid around a hundred for mine, so. You can get it for around there, I would say cop. They're just super versatile and like, you can wear it with anything. Are these PRPS? If you guys don't know what PRPS is, it's basically like a denim company. Really cool vintage washes. Lots of details on them. You see the overlapping pocket stitch right there. Zigzag stitch. Also on the button fly, it's like rainbow button flies. Super sick, good quality denim. And these have honestly been my go-to um, denim for a while now. I wear these with like Converse and throw on like a vintage tee, good to go for the day. But they're super comfortable, uh, relaxed. The dart on the knees gives out that cool flared look that's really trendy right now. But yeah, definitely go check it out. The series I wanted to go through and show you guys what I've been rocking lately. All like my chrome rings that I've shown off before, but Pierce bracelet. Um, I've been wearing this like every day. Pierce is a business owned by my girlfriend and her mom. They all hand make their stuff really high quality. And Instagram though. Uh, a lot of their stuff has been selling out, which is great for them, but is 
this necklace that I just dropped. Sold out in like 20 minutes. So happy for them, but super, super nice. I wear it with like the clasp belt, but yeah, super, super nice. So last pickup I wanted to show you guys is this Chrome Hearts double roller belt. Um, got this recently, wearing it a lot, a ton, putting it to use for sure. Not an affordable pickup by any means, but I did trade a couple things um, and had a cash on top. So it was a little bit better than if I was to pay retail for it, but yeah something I'm gonna wear every day. So I guess in terms of that, it's worth it, but there is a lot of details in these. Um, that snake head, it's really, really cool. I mean, I don't think I'll need another belt for a while. So yeah, thought this was really, really nice. And I'm actually really happy about this pickup. My friend Kenneth Nguyen, you guys might know him also um, has one and it's safe to say we've been enjoying our double rollers a lot and probably not gonna sell them anytime soon so yeah that's that's it that was all my pickups for this time um, like I said new formatted video tell me what you guys think uh, if you guys are new to the channel subscribe show your friends and yeah, uh, definitely have been more consistent on YouTube. Uh, still have a lot of ideas that I want to try out. Want to take it a little bit more seriously, but yeah, hope you guys can see that through. The Atelier, which is my brand I am starting up with Preston and Nolan. Uh, we are still in the sampling process. We hope to have the first sample by the end of next month. Fingers crossed, but I hope you guys are excited as we are.